Cash's story and how he defeated cancer and how people have round, rallied behind him and you know just he's kind of the poster child of medical marijuana and what it can do. It kills cancer cells. Um, and it's really sad when you go out and you look at this article and you watch this video because the video just leaves you with this sense of hope right after you know he had conquered cancer for the second time and we all know how the story ends. I don't know about y'all, but I am sick and tired of hearing of one more person dying, one more person contracting cancer, and they go through chemotherapy, and they go through radiation treatments, and they eventually die anyway. When we know that there is a cure, the government is lying to us, the DEA is enforcing a rule that's killing people. And it's time for every one of us to stand up. I've had an uncle die. I've had a cousin die. I'm tired of hearing about people dying and going to funerals for people for a disease that we have the cure for. We have the cure. So I'm asking every one of you to do what you can do, to stand up to the amount that you can stand up, to spread Cash's story. It's a good place to start and to get people to realize that this is not something that we're going to put up with any longer. We're not going to have any more children die. We're not going to have any more mothers, fathers, uncles, aunts. We're not going to have anybody else die from a disease that we can cure. Fucking A, Loretta. Hell yeah. Uh, I'm caught on something here. Ah, there we go. How many of you guys are parents? I have a nine-year-old son that I couldn't help but think about every time I thought about Cash Hyde. He's one of the reasons that I really stuck around in this fight, actually. He inspired me and my family. He inspired my son. He inspired a lot of people with his courage. And 20 minutes after he died, the police department is kicking his door in, trying to get his parents to release the body to them. And I think that's fucking awful that somebody somewhere thinks that's okay. This little boy was braver than anybody I've ever known. He beat cancer twice before he could really do much of anything. I mean, I, I look at my son and I see a nine-year-old boy that's really starting only now to develop into the person I know he's gonna be. And Cash, he didn't even have that chance. And I just think it's awful that we continue to let kids suffer or anybody suffer on these laws that they don't do anything to stop the demand of marijuana. It doesn't do anything to curb the supply of marijuana. And it sure as hell hasn't stopped us from developing the most potent marijuana that's ever existed. And so why are we going to continue to enforce these laws? Just to hurt people? Just to make money or just to prove a point because we don't want to admit that we're wrong? Well, I think that that's wrong. And that's why I'm standing up here talking in front of all of you because Cash Hyde and many people just like him have inspired me, and I hope that you allow yourself to be moved by his story. Please go to our website, go to the Cash Hyde Foundation. CJ Maestas is our Cash Hyde Foundation contact here in Texas. He's actually Cashy's uncle, and he's very sorry that he couldn't be here, but the Cash Hyde Foundation, they've actually been part of several of our events, and I just wish that I could see CJ right now and hug him. I wish all of us could, because what they're going through right now, no parent should have to. And every time I see my son now, I just hope that he never has to go through some of the suffering that that little boy did. I hope that eventually we're going to wake up from all of this and realize that this isn't stopping anything. It's just killing people. It's hurting people. And we need to stop it. And Cash Hyde is a name that I will never forget. I'm going to continue to fight to legalize marijuana until they put me in a cage or until we're done with this discussion. Yeah! So, now that I've gotten a little emotional, my anxiety is completely gone now that I've been cried in front of a room of people. <laughs> I want to turn the mic over to somebody else who has some thoughts about Cash Hide that he'd like to share with you guys. Somebody that I very much respect, volunteer that came out of nowhere that is now sits on our board of directors, man that I very much look up to, Mr. Steve Williams. Hi folks, my name is Steve Williams. You may not know me. Uh, um, my wife died, my wife's dad died a few weeks ago. And then uh, Cashy went on to the next level a little bit ago. And then this morning I woke up and my next door neighbor had died. 
good friend, good neighbor. And I thought about her dad and my next door neighbor, Dennis. And they were older guys and they had a great life. They had kids, they had families, and they were older. So they had a good life. I'm sorry to see them go. But little Cash didn't have that opportunity. He was four years old. He spent his entire life fighting. And with a great, great family and support, um, they did amazing things. Um, Cash has become a, a national symbol for what's wrong with a lot of things in this country. But he deserves better. All kids deserve better. And at four years old, he didn't have a chance to just be a normal kid, and that's all he wanted. He loved to play. He loved to hang out with his family, his brother. Just be a kid. And all kids should have that opportunity. And if there's something out there that will help those kids have that opportunity, then why are we not making it available to them? And that's the most important message we can send out is, why is this not available to everybody? Why do these little kids have to suffer? We've seen amazing turnarounds from sick people. We've had people here visit us. Amazing stories that this plant has medicinal properties that astound the medical community. Yet we keep it illegal. We keep it from the people that need it. And I can't understand the reasons why. Whether it's political, power, control over others, I don't know. But you have the ability here to make a difference, to make a change, to help others. Just being here, watching, being a member, everyone you talk to, when you say something to anybody, bring the subject up, sign a petition, write a letter, no matter what you do, every little bit helps. Cash, wherever he is, whatever's next, is maybe keeping an eye on things. He's like, I, you know, I did it. I'm a, I'm a kid, I'll still be a kid, I'm always a kid. I left this life as a kid. But maybe we can help others. Maybe we can make a choice. And it's up to folks like me and you to do something about it. So do whatever you can, no matter how little it is. Whether it's joining the organization, writing letters, saying something, talking to people, talking to your folks. I'm an older guy and I keep wondering, well, who are people my age? You know, back in the late 70s, everybody smoked pot. Does anybody know what pot is? That's what he used to be called. <laughs> and those people are the ones that are running the country right now. And where are they? Because they know they did it. And they know there's other choice and things are changing. Recent elections showed what's going on. It's an amazing thing right now. You're in an amazing time. This is an incredible time in this country and for this simple little plant. So do what you can and we'll do it together. And we'll all be proud to look back someday and say, man, I remember. We were there and we made a difference. Just like little cash made a difference. Thank you.